Hey guys, how's it going? Today we are working on a Valentine's project that involves dried flowers. We are gonna walk through the steps on how to make these super cute heart-shaped salt dough ornaments with dried flowers attached. And the ornaments themselves are very easy and inexpensive to make. All you need is flour, salt, and water, which I don't have in my cups yet. And when we're all done making and decorating our ornaments, the kids and I, we're gonna head out and harvest a branch, which is gonna be our tree. We'll put it in some kind of pot or container, display it inside, and then we can hang all of these cute ornaments from that branch. I think it's gonna be a really fun one. And I think Benjamin's also gonna help me with the decorating process. The other things that are helpful to have around for this project is some kind of a skewer, or you could use like a straw, and that's what helps you make your holes in your ornaments. I have a knife out here, a couple pieces of parchment paper. We have our heart shape, shaped cookie cutters, a rolling pin. I made this batch last night so that we would have something dry and ready to roll for decorating today. And then you will need your ornament stuff. So we've got some cute ribbon here. We've got Mod Podge. I've got a big one down there in case we need it. And then of course dried flowers, which I have a whole bunch from our garden, but you can buy these too at a craft store. See these right here? I got these in clearance for $4.47 and you can order them online too for pretty cheap. Um, so even if you don't have your own dried flowers from your own garden, doesn't matter, you can always pick some up for a pretty inexpensive price. The dough recipe is super easy. Four cups of flour, just make sure it's not self-rising flour. In that case, you could end up with ornaments that get a little bit puffier during the baking process. And then one cup of regular table salt, seems like an enormous amount, and then one and a half cups of water. So I'm going to just mix this up. This feels like a really weird, I feel really low right now. I'm used to standing at my kitchen counter, but the lighting is so much better out here. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Four cups. There's one, two, three, and four. There we go, four. One cup of salt. Hey bud, you wanna stir this for me? Yeah, sure. We got the one cup of salt. Okay, we just need to stir. When I go get water, you can stir these two ingredients together. There you go, bud. Sit here? Yep. Or you can stand, bud, if that's easier for you. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna pour this in. One and a half cups of water. You coming in? Did you find a leaf? Very beautiful, babe. We're making breakfast in here. Are you making breakfast? Actually, we're making these. I want to do those. Isn't that pretty? After. Yeah, after. I like these kind. You like that kind? Yeah. You back in to help? <laughs> we're swapping kids back and forth here. So I think at this point, even though it's not all incorporated, we're going to pour it out onto the table so that we can knead it with our hands. Mm -hmm. That's the fun part. Okay, ready? Knead it. Knead it. Remember, special sound K-N with the silent K. Actually, you know what? Before we need it. Can we eat some? Oh, well, <laughs> I wouldn't, bud, because there's no sugar in it. It's just a big old bunch of salt. <laughs> You're going to sit in the other chair? Yeah. Okay. I can't need sitting down. i got to be up for this part. Can you need it? Like this, bud? Oh, yeah. Sure. I can try that. Okay, bud, let me get it all smooth, and then we're going to get it rolled out so that we can cut shapes. You basically just want to knead it until it's kind of a nice, smooth consistency. But I just made it like a bunch of dolls. No, you did a good job. Ooh, nice. We're going to cut the dough in half, so we're just working with half at a time. And we're going to roll it out to a quarter of an inch thick between two pieces of parchment paper. And this just helps avoid sticking. I've got this um, rolling pin that has these little pieces on the side and you can take off, like I took off the biggest piece which allows you to roll things out to 3 8 inch thickness. And this one is exactly quarter inch. So we just need to get this down to the table, Benjamin. Uh-oh. There we go. Put 
We're gonna take it. Take that. It looks like a Christmas stocking. Yeah, it does kinda. Okay, now we're just smoothing it all out. Look at how pretty that looks. Okay, I think we've got it pretty dang smooth. So let's get the cookie cutters. Oh. Okay. Remember to try to get things as close together as you can. Yep. Straight up. There we go. So we're going to line all of our cookies up, or cookies, <laughs> we're going to line all of our ornaments up on this clean sheet of parchment. So we are going to add more ornaments to this piece of parchment, but I just want to show you the next step. This is where we use our skewer or a straw and we go in and we make our holes. We want to do that prior to drying them because it's pretty impossible after they're all dried. So that's basically what you do to form up the ornaments and then they bake in a 250 degree Fahrenheit oven for 90 minutes if they're a quarter inch thick. You'll have to adjust that if they're a little bit thicker. You might have to go for two hours um, or you might go a little bit less if they are thinner. So anyway, we've got more to roll out and add. So I've got a couple of cookie sheets. It makes a lot. One batch makes a ton of ornaments. So anyway, let's, let's get after it. second batch of ornaments there in the oven now and I've got my timer set for 90 minutes and I'm thankful that I made a batch last night so that we had something to decorate right away and this is what they should look like after they've been baked so they're kind of hard the back sides usually are a little bit darker in color than the top sides at least in my oven uh, my oven always heats really hot everything on the bottom is always pretty done uh, but they should be pretty uniform they shouldn't be sunken in the middle if they're if that's the case they probably didn't dry long enough uh, you can go ahead and put ribbon on at this point, which I like to choose, you know, something fairly thin because our holes aren't that big, but it is easier to put the flowers on first. And we use Mod Podge. It's like a glue. It's a white glue, but it dries uh, clear. So what we do is we take our brush and we're going to just put a little bit right on the ornament. See that, Benjamin? And then put some flour. Yep, and then what I like to do, because now our brush is kind of sticky, then I look and see what kind of flour we have, and I'm gonna pick this one. Oftentimes you can just pick them up right up with your paintbrush. You gently apply them on top of the Mod Podge that we've already put down, and then we're gonna get more out, and we're gonna go right over the top, pretty thick. And sometimes you have to like brush underneath petals so that they'll lay on top of each other really nicely. So in the end, they'll look kind of milky until they dry. I mean, that's how these looked right here. And it just dries them perfectly. And they stay nice for a long time. Like these ornaments will last indefinitely if they're stored somewhere dry. And you can just decorate these however you want. We're kind of just going for color and cute. So, oh, that looks good, bud. He's utilizing some of the taller ones. Now, right here, bud, let me show you. So see how this one kind of curls up? Mm -hmm. It might be a good idea. We're gonna put more underneath here and underneath here. I'm gonna go ahead and pick this up and turn it over so that it will naturally wanna lay down a little bit easier. And then see, we go right over the top. Go right over the top of that. We wanna get as much glue or Mod Podge over the top of the leaves as we can, bud. glue on me. Did you? It's okay. Just a tiny bit. Yeah. Oh, you're just done with this one? I'll finish this one up. <laughs> now you can use these taller ones if you want to, just keep in mind, uh, I don't really know how we're gonna get a Mod Podge layer over the top. Those probably won't preserve as nicely, but that's okay. So this is kind of how it will look after you're done until it dries. Okay, we have a bunch to decorate, so we're just gonna go after it. When they're all dry, we'll add our ribbon and we'll get our branch and all of that and get our tree decorated.
some of these still need to dry, but they turned out so cute. I mean, look at how sweet these are and they don't even have ribbons yet. But you can see, you know, some of these thicker flowers that needed more Mod Podge, they're just gonna need some time to dry. So we might just let these sit overnight and then we'll do all of our ribbon and go get our branch. I made a little um, space right here because all of these right here, Benjamin did. Isn't that fun? And he chose some of the, the bigger flowers there and he did this one kind of artistic style with the clematis at the corner there. So much fun. I knew Benjamin would get a kick out of this project. He's always into the process of things and he loves to decorate. He loves to decorate anything. Samantha's not quite there yet. I don't, I don't know that I would set her loose with a paintbrush and glue and dried flowers, but I think she will love the, the hanging of the ornaments part. So I'm gonna let these dry for a while. In fact, it's late in the afternoon now, almost time to start dinner. So I'll probably let these just sit in here overnight and dry. And tomorrow we can get our branch set up and get all of our ribbon on these and get them all hung. It's gonna be so cute. You ready to go get a branch? All right, everybody pile on. I'll walk. <laughs> okay, are you sure? Yeah. Okay, all right. Kiddos, hold on. We're gonna leave daddy in the dust. Oh yeah, <laughs> Douglas is following him. Yeah. Daddy, watch out, Douglas is behind you. Okay. Uh, uh. To the left, there we go. So Aaron and Paul just pulled out a little maple tree on the new property and they brought it over here to the, the pile. And I thought we could check out the branches and see if they're, uh, yeah, I think there are some good ones, kids. That way we can reuse at least a little part of this tree. I think let's try this one. Here you go. Can you take it over to the, the gator? You got it? Yeah, that's a good one. That is a great one. Okay, I think that turned out really pretty. I can run. Oh, you want to run? I think we've lost Samantha. I don't know that she's going to want to leave the pile of wood chips. Samantha Grace, we got to go hang some ornaments. There's our vase full of branches and this ended up being perfect because I didn't have to add any kind of frog to this container. I was able to fit enough branches in there to where they're kind of holding each other up. And these have lots of nice little side branches because we ended up with quite a lot of ornaments and they are just the sweetest things. Oh, here he comes. Are you ready to hang ornaments? Yeah. Nice. Oh, she is? Yeah. We'll have oh. to save a couple for her. So what's your favorite one, Benjamin, of all of these ornaments? You like that one? Yeah. That is pretty, huh? Okay, so you can, you have bare feet, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> you can climb on the chair cushions then. You can climb up here and, uh, Get up here toward the back branches. Do you like this one? Yeah, I think they're all sweet. Don't you think so? Yeah. I think they all have their own sweetness about them. There we go. Now I can get some high ones. Yep. Um, one right here. Do you think? Do you think this one? Maybe here. Yeah. Let, let's decorate some more, shall we? Well, I think we need to get a few on the interior here, like. Yeah, that's good. Like we need to get one right I'm in bring here. Some with me, okay? Okay. Benjamin's standing back to see if it looks good. What do you think? Um, it looks good. Oh, I love it. Yeah, we did the goodest box. High five for a good job. Let's do good. All right. Show everybody in the whole world. Well, with. Oh, with. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. almost. No, we have a bowl push back. Okay. No. Oh. I wasn't ready that time. Okay. No! <laughs> no. <laughs> Woo! That was a good one. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you guys, look at the sweetest Valentine tree ever. This is so much fun. It makes me want to make another one. Because right now, I want to leave this one right here because it's so pretty. And we'll see it from all angles. But now we need to, Benjamin, we need to have one for inside the house now. We need to make more. We do? I think so. Today? Yeah, maybe not today. Maybe another day. Uh, Soon. Yeah. They are all just so unique. And I love the fact that we get to keep these forever. Like, even if we don't make another tree this year, we can build on it next year. Knowing that this one looks so sweet sitting here. 
we can make a few more for inside the house. I actually love the addition of these two. So I use the large cookie cutter and then the small one on the inside to hollow it out. And I like that these are hanging on an angle. Anyway guys, that is it for this project. I love how it turned out and I hope you enjoyed watching it and I hope you try it. It is just such an easy and cheap project to do with such a fun result. I mean, I just have a few dollars into this project and time. And I feel like you could adapt this to any holiday or any anything. I mean, cookie cutters come in all kinds of shapes or you can freehand stuff. Um, you could do letters. I think that would really be a fun thing, especially like when the kids are little doing ABC letter salt dough ornaments and then you can garden them up with some dried flowers if you want to, maybe flowers that have a name that starts with that letter. V for Viola or I don't know, D for delphinium, R for rose. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next video. Bye.